I am fascinated by the capabilities of the original 2600 hardware and I have a very unique device today I want to share with you. This is from Low Def Mode. He's a YouTuber and he has created a movie cart. That's right. This device will allow you to play full length color movies on your Atari 2600. And you're like, no way that's not possible. It is. He's been working on this for several years and finally has it readily available where you can purchase this or pre-order this. It's not in stock at the time of this video, but you can sign up and get notified when it's ready to come back in stock. So it comes with a PCB board and a full length movie that's public domain, a Night of the Living Dead, and you know, it comes with uh, labels as well. I'm gonna share today how to assemble this into an actual cart, show it running on actual hardware, test it with a couple different devices, including an Atari 7800, show you some extra things that can be possible, and just wanna share my thoughts about this. So sit back, relax, here we go. So here it is, here's the movie cart PCB, comes in a box where it there's a QR code for more information and it's $24.99 again uh, at the uh, time of this video it is not available but you can sign up for uh, pre-order or uh, when it's available so it's made in very small batches and this is a hobbyist kind of uh, project and again just uh, really cool that someone was ambitious and wanted to see what was the capabilities of the 2600 and what's really nice about this uh, design, here's the PCB board, is that it works in a standard 2600 cartridge. I'm gonna show that, I'm gonna assemble it. And on the side there, there is a micro SD card that it comes with, with uh, Night of Living Dead, uh, public domain video. Now, if you wanna make a slot for the SD card slot, that's gonna be extra work, but I'm just showing it in a standard 2600 card. Uh, I'm not going to put the end label on it because you can open it back and forth if if you just want to use a standard cartridge like many people. So here it is. I took the screw out already. And to pry open a 2600 cart, you have to, it's, it's good to have fingernails. You just start on the side there and it'll pop. Uh, there are um, little tabs inside and sometimes they do break off. You can still use the shell if, it, if they do break off, but they're fairly brittle being so old. So here's what a 2600 cart looks like inside. Um, and there is the end, uh, that's a, like a guard. And there's a spring inside, like so. This is a pretty uh, good condition cart. I've seen them rusted, I've seen <laughs> pugs inside, I've seen all sorts of things. But this one's a fairly clean one and you take a flat and you can pop it into the side like that and it'll activate uh, an opening and then you just slide your movie cart in like so and the design's pretty awesome and, and, and it works and you just assemble it like this also on low def modes uh youtube channel he also shows how to assemble it, it has to line up perfectly though and then you just pop it back into place this looks easy, but it is fairly challenging. But once you get the hang of it, um, no problem. You assemble the label like so. And again, I'm gonna keep the end label off uh, just in case, make sure it works. Uh, you don't wanna put the end label on unless you're 100%, your movie cart works and you have it assembled correctly. Um, that should be the last step. But yeah, just like this, really nice uh, quality label. And voila. So let's go test this in original hardware. And there you have your card. The producer does recommend using a standard CRT. And I actually have my 2600 Junior modded AV, but you don't need that. Um, it works fine, standard RF. So here it is. Uh, really nice settings with the controller. You can pause hitting the fire button adjust brightness, volume, and all that. And you can, I won't have it up too much, but here it is. And even though the screen is scrunched, I mean, there was a lot of 
limitations of the 2600. I mean, this is just technical wizardry. And uh, you can fast forward by uh, pushing right on the controller. Uh, just really, really nice, easy settings that you can have with a standard uh, CX40. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Actually, it looks really good uh, considering the limitations of the 2600. Once you fully understand that, uh, you you can respect what you're seeing right now. But yeah, I thought the volume was actually, and, and audio was better than what I anticipated. Um, you know, this is definitely, the, the resolution is, is, is pretty low. 80 by 192. And there's more information about this. I'm gonna put a link below where you can sign up and get notified when this is back in stock, as well as uh, Low Def's YouTube page. But yeah, it works pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna show a couple other things, but yeah, this is just one available option uh, to produce and have a movie on an actual Atari PCB board for the 2600. Now there's a whole process of getting the video properly encoded and on Lodef's page, uh, he goes into detail about that on his YouTube page. Uh, really goes into details. It, it, you can do it. It, it takes uh, some free software as well as some other things. And But yeah, you can, if you follow that, you can put movies on actual 2600 cartridges. Here's just some examples of things that are possible. Um, again, uh, this is not to promote piracy. Uh, you know, definitely just showing that it, there are possibilities. You can even, if you're a YouTuber or have videos that you've done, you can put them on 2600 cartridges yourself. And uh, there's also ways of using 2600 Label Maker and voila, there you have it. Now what you're seeing here is the movie cart hooked up to a S-Video modded Atari 2600 and then capturing it through uh, RetroTink 5X. And so uh, the reason why I'm showing this is that you don't need to do this. I don't think it looks better. Just use a standard 2600 and an original CRT television. For more information, you can go to Low Def Mode's YouTube page where he has a step-by-step -step process of how to get videos on your movie cart. Uh, it is a process. I thought he would do a better job than me explaining it. So if you're interested in this, you can go watch his channel and he, he covers that with several videos. Now, this is where you get it. The link is below in the description where you can uh, sign up and be notified when this is back in stock and pretty awesome for the price too for what it does so in the comments what movie would you put on your movie card if you had one and play it in your 2600 uh, definitely let me know wow just blown away by this device and it's crazy to think after all these years that people are pushing the technical limitations of the Atari 2600, what is it capable of? I mean, you just think about it. In 2024, there's a device where you can watch full-length movies on a video game console from the 70s. Just mind blown. And yes, there's some technical limitations. It's only 80 by 192, and you know the, the visual quality is a little rough, but it works. It's got sound, it's got video and a full length movie. Uh, you know, I really want to show and tell people really for technical purposes, if you really want to put your own movies on uh, this device, go to Low Def Mode's channel and he has a whole series where he talks about the movie cart and it'll be a step-by-step -step process. It is, it is great. Uh, it takes a bit to figure out and put things and encode them on this, but he walks you through it and shows you how to do it yourself. Anyways, what did you think of the comments below? This is technical wizardry. Oh my goodness, just so great to see it and it works. And thank you so much for viewing this video. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. 
You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you take care.